His Holiness, His Grace Joseph Ma Dionysius, President OSSI, Reverend Father Dr. Uh, Vargis Vargis, Director General of OSSI, OSSI dignitaries, headmasters, Sunday school teachers, and dear members of our church. On behalf of uh, OGOSS coordinators, Professor Dr. Chiryan Thomas, Sherry Kurian Sir, and all our beloved uh, OGOSS teachers, I deem it a great privilege and honor to present the status update of OGOSS after completion of glorious first year. Uh, why, does, why did 1,000 plus students choose OGOSS? I would like to list down a few. My son is unable to move out of the house. OGSS has been a blessing for my son, parent from GCC. Our nearest parish is 400 kilometers away, a parent from Australia. We do not have a church, a Sunday school in our country, says parents from Kenya, Iraq, Maldives, Spain, Japan, Brunei, Finland, and many other places. Both of us are working on Fridays and our children, can, and we cannot... Uh, we cannot, uh, and our children are too young, so we cannot send their children, send them alone to Sunday school. A parent in GCC. I lost my job and we moved out of the city to a remote place. A father in GCC. I've completed grade 11 Sunday school and I want to complete my grade 12. A first year medical student in Armenia. Konkani congregation members are part of the current OGSS family. We take a, we take a three hour flight as a family to Auckland and to attend a Holy Kurbana in once in three months, says a parent in New Zealand. Youngest OGSS child is three years old and the senior most student is 67 year old student of OGSS. His Holiness with his great vision an amazing forethought was uh, started the OGSS Orthodox Global Online Sunday School was inaugurated on 12th of February, 2023. Today, as we complete one year and few months, we currently have 1,000 plus students, 90 plus teachers, 60 plus classes on every weekend in four batches. Today, we are truly a global uh, Sunday school and one of the rare organizations of a church which is truly global. In a sense, we are connected completely. Uh, we have children from Hawaii, which is 4,000 kilometers right in the, uh, from the shore of US, right in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. US, Canada, Belgium, Malta, Germany, France, Netherlands, Poland, Finland, Italy. We have from students from Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, and South Africa. We have a child from Iraq, Ajman, Saudi, Adjizawi, Qatar. We have children from 22 states, remote parts of various parts of India. We have children from Brunei and Australia, Thailand, and, and the extreme most, we have a two children joining us from Japan. And we also we have down south in Australia and New Zealand. We have students, as I said earlier, we have students from 22 states uh, in, from, from India. For, so we are conducting four uh, batches, Saturdays 10 a.m. for Australia and New Zealand, students from Australia and New Zealand 10 a.m. We have constructed this whole thing depending upon the convenience of the students. So local time for them would be from Australia and New Zealand would be 3.30 and 5.30. New Zealand is 5.30 p.m. evening and they will join at 10 a.m. India time. We have our classes for US, Canada, Europe, GCC for 10 p.m. Uh, at uh, 10 p.m. on Saturdays. We also conduct uh, for students from Far East, India, Africa, and UAE on Sundays at 5 p.m. And 8.30, senior members 80 plus, we have an exclusive session where the senior members who would like to complete their grade 10 and uh, where the diploma course, grade 11 and 12 combined on, uh, on Saturdays, 8.30 8 p.m. We are blessed with an amazing global faculty. We have teachers from all across the world, from UAE, Australia, Canada, US, Saudi, Kuwait, Kerala, Indonesia, Brunei, Malaysia, various parts, highly committed. We have children, teachers joining at 7.30, their local time in Bahrain to teach a child in 5.30, uh, their local time in New Zealand. We have a teacher who's waking up, uh, and ma'am here, who wakes up at 3.30 to do a common class, uh, to do a class, common class for the India batch at 5 p.m. India time. We have an amazing, I think this is a bedrock uh, of our Sunday school and this has been uh, of teachers who have been a bedrock for our foundation, the later foundation for running it so seamlessly. I can tell you as the OGSS coordinator, we have not missed a single class for any of the classes uh, where we run 60 classes every weekend. We have, uh, just to give you a few words, we have teachers who are college professors, PhD scholars, 
special needs teachers, doctors, medical staff, lawyers, senior corporate executives who are part of our teaching community. Average school, Sunday school experience is over uh, for these teachers are 10 plus. Uh, they, are act, they themselves are very active in their respective parishes. Many of them are headmasters, senior teachers for many decades. Uh, most of them are proficient in English and in Malayalam, English, Hindi, and few other languages too. We also conduct, uh, you know, to encourage new to end teachers, we conduct a three to six month discipleship program or internship program where we get all these junior Sunday school uh, students who have completed grade 12 and would like to be part of the OGSS. We run them through an internship program too. Uh, one of our uh, endeavors has been because we do an OGSS. Uh, through the Global Sunday School, many of our students do not attend uh, uh, churches or Sunday school. Incidentally, 30% of 1,000 students have not ever attended a Sunday school. For them, Sunday school through OJSS is the first time. So to, for them to learn hymns and prayers, church hymns and prayers, which are part of the curriculum, we have recorded the hymns in Bangladesh and in English. In the YouTube video, I just want to play a small two minute video. And the children can actually promote the over these videos. This can be useful for all Sunday school students who are not proficient in English, Malayalam, all across the world can utilize these resources. This is the YouTube channel. May it glad an angel's high, a departed ones. This is there in Bangladesh too, where the, we have a recorded version of it. We also have special uh, classes where we get eminent speakers. We have our own Vargis Vargis Achan taking on Holy Kurbana for our senior students, uh, for grade 11 and grade 12, and also for the senior batch students. Uh, we didn't stop here. We also had an exclusive liturgical music program where uh, we have our own five, six, five teachers who have been uh, trained as uh, Strudi trainers. They are teaching our students on liturgical music. Many of our students are outside Kerala, so we are also running a very basic course, which is Ende Malayalam class. We've been running it for the last few months. Another interesting thing, because we, we lose the access of physical proximity with our children, so we make sure that there is personalized uh, birthday cards sent to each of our students on their birthdays by their respective, uh, by their respective teachers. We have a social media team which actually collates everything and make sure that the particular personalized message goes to the class teacher who in turn sends that message to these students. We ran an amazing uh, competitions where we had, uh, you know, OGSS competitions in the month of October where we had 1,700 plus participants, 25 plus competition across three regions over three weekends. We did conduct so seamlessly and it was well appreciated. Another exciting thing is the way we conduct our exams online. We have done it so, so I think we will be one of the churches, one of the churches all across the world where we are conducting a Sunday school examination on an app, Android and iOS, where on multiple choice questions and multiple choice answers. And uh, we have conducted the half yearly exam and the annual exam and the way the Praveen, all exams on the app. And it has done extremely well and seamlessly. We are very active on our social media sites because we want to reach out to each and every student, every student who's not attending, who's not able to attend a church, who's not able to attend a Sunday school. So we want to be active on social media so that we can reach out to the unreached. We are active on uh, YouTube, where our channels, where uh, we have already uploaded in the last 12 odd months, 109 videos. On Instagram, we are active. On Facebook, we are active too. These are the initiatives we have completed. Parent teachers meeting, online exams, social media, liturgical. This is something which we started at the beginning of the curriculum. And by God's grace, we have been able to complete all these initiatives which have been completed. This year, we had a very specific agenda to reach out to more students. We reached out to the Konkini community through uh, Reverend Father uh, David Krastachan. Uh, we have reached out to the OCYM team, the MGOSSM team. They've been very supportive. They've been uh, advertising and spreading the message of reaching and encouraging them to join uh, students or uh, their uh, members who are not completed uh, uh, grade 11 and grade 12 in Sunday school. Uh, social media handles we are running through. We are running a special me. Uh, we found a lot of Middle Eastern students, you know, when they complete 10, they come to India and they study in hostels. So they miss their 11th and grade 11th and 12th grade. So we are reaching to the hostels and also to the GCC region specifically on this month, month of March and April so that they can continue their syllabus, uh, continue their Sunday school uh, with OGSS. We also have uh, the support of OGSS parents 
uh, in Pondicherry, Orissa, and other parts where remote parts where the parents are coming forward because their child have got benefited and now they're bringing in more students. What are the new initiatives? By God's grace, we should be initiating, uh, 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 as uh, Vagi Sachin had mentioned, uh, we have the immense pressure of having a Bhavad Inman initiate few of this. which uses website, which uses uh, Living Sacrifice Ease book, the OG uses Shafiro syllabus exclusively for special needs children. Convocation ceremony, which should happen, God willing, now. And we also will be running the OG versus online OVBS in uh, 2024, third and fourth week of June 2024. And we will be shortly starting the podcast where it will be run by the students, for the students on Orthodox faith. So they'll be running short videos, two minute videos, three minute videos on Orthodox faith, so that we reach out to more and more children to understand our faith in the language they understand. The beauty about our center school is uh, the way we run it is we have a single number, just like a typical call center of a very large bank. And Sherry sir has been doing a phenomenal job. So we anybody could reach us on this, parents, teachers, uh, any new entrants could reach out to this number and we respond within 24 hours. That is a commitment we are doing and I think all our parents will vouch for this that we reply within 24 hours. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for giving me this wonderful opportunity to quickly run through what uh, key highlights of uh, OGOS is for the past one year. Thank you all.